everyone. How's it going? Um, I was just listening to a Taylor Swift song. And it's amazing how much her songs helped me get my emotions out. And I did a lot of crying yesterday and today. Because the N-word is one thing, like... I'm sorry, trigger warning. Calling me a fat nigger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> calling me, calling me those things. I'm not gonna say it anymore because I'm gonna laugh if I do. Calling me those things is one thing, okay? But then I realised, like, if the N-word really doesn't mean anything to me to the point where I'd laugh about it, I think, I think it's not because it doesn't mean anything to me. It was because I think I was anticipating those words stinging me. And then when it finally came and it didn't, and I think that's why I laughed, because I thought it was going to hurt me. But that's not what actually hurt me. What actually hurt me was the fact that this was four fucking hours. Again, if somebody's having a go at you and you haven't done anything, bear in mind, I didn't know this. I, I was just reacting to a private conversation that was really none of my business. Okay, it was none of my fucking business, but. To do that for four hours, to harass somebody for that long, get your family involved, get your friends involved. And the thing is, the, the, the ironic thing is, is that that slur annoyed, you know, it actually offended her family members and her friends more than it did. Well, not her family members, definitely not them, but it offended her friends more than it did me. She still didn't stop. She didn't give a damn who she was hurting. As long as she felt like she had got the opportunity to hurt me. And I've been there before with people. At one point. I was in Chatsworth Road. I was in Wilsdon. And I was living in a supported accommodation. In the last few months that I was living there, I'm not going to say their name, but this person got obsessed with me to the point where they harassed me for 136 hours. 136 hours. The only time they took a break was to sleep. If you look on my social media, it's got recordings of me firing shit back. But, you know, for my part, it was six hours altogether. For their part, it was 136 hours. And this situation yesterday, it brought me back to that. And the fact that I didn't react violently, the fact that I didn't even want to react violently, made me feel worthless. Because what other black person do you know is going to put up with this shit for even four hours, let alone 136? And the whole time I was going through those 136 hours of harassment, I didn't want to cry. I, I didn't cry for 136 hours worth of harassment. I didn't cry because I didn't want to give that motherfucker the satisfaction. And in the end, I didn't. In the end, when I left, like the happiness poured out of me. It poured out of me. The happiness poured out of me when I had, had the feeling of leaving. This was minor in comparison to that, but it brought, brought me back to that place. Made me feel worthless. Made me feel like I was nothing. 
they literally reduced me to that point, got their kids involved, got their family involved. And now I have to listen to those people play victim, play victim. I don't give a damn what you did originally. There is no way that anybody should be subjected to that much bar for four fucking hours non-stop. There is no way and no excuse. You can say what you want about me. I've been a fat nigga a long time. Okay? That's nothing to me. But you, for you to harass me for four fucking hours just because you feel insecure, you are a demon. You are a demon. You are a demon and your, your family are demons. You are a fucking demon. To harass somebody for four fucking hours non-stop. You're a demon. And then to get your, you get your friends involved. No, not even just harassing me for four hours. That little childhood lie that I would even contemplate hitting a child. That lie that I would even contemplate hitting a child. Using my mental health as a slur. To the point where children are probably repeating it at school. Demon. And because of what? Because you feel insecure? What gives you the right to do that? I want these people out of my life. I don't even want, I don't even want them hurt. I don't want them hurt. I don't want them, I don't want them. You, you, ever, you ever just despise somebody so much that you don't even want to hurt them? You don't even want to hurt them. You just want them gone. I want these people out of my life. I don't care how it happens. They can leave. I can leave. I don't care. I really don't care. In fact, before the N-word thing kicked off, I was begging for these people to report me over and over again if it was that serious. I was begging them to do that. And the reason I got angry was because these people in two days went from me potentially abusing somebody else's child to it not being that serious. That's why I got angry. That's why I got angry. You can call me all the niggas you like. I don't give a... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jiggle. <laughs> Jiggle. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will say it again, I will say it again, okay. You could call me all the N-words you like, all right? You could do that as much... <laughs> you, could, you, know, you can say that as much as you like, but don't fucking come after me for four hours, man. I want these people out of my life. I I don't I don't even care like what, what, what you know and and the thing is, the friend that came over there was a friend a couple of friends that came over, and the friend that came over heard the n word being used over and over again, right, and they left, and even when that bitch left and didn't come back, she still made it about her. Even when. I was the one who was called a racial slur for like four hours straight by kids, by two relatives, like two older relatives and two kids for four hours. Black cunt, fat nigga, dumb nigga, four hours, right? They still made it about them. They still made it about them. That's the thing that angers me the most. It's not the fact that they use racial slurs against me because it's like, I know who I am. It doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you harassed me for four hours. And then on top of that, like th the entire time, I wasn't angry. Fuck off, man. You are not a victim. That white bit. Oh, God.
God. You see, now they got me fucking using, using racial slurs now. No, I'm not doing that. That white woman that left, do you have any idea how fucked my life is? It's my black, it's my fucking black life. My black cunt life, okay? My black ass life is fucked. I'm the one who fucking basically said, look, these people are not the only ones to blame because everybody here racialized me. I was the one. I was the one who pointed out that these people will catch the brunt for everybody else's bullshit. I was the one. I was the one who said, you know what? Calling, the, calling a child the C word is abhorrent. It should never have happened. And as a mother, if somebody called my child the C word, I'd do whatever I could to protect them. I said that. Me. Me. I defended that motherfucker. That motherfucking demon. Me. This is why, this is why I hate, this is why I hate treating people differently according to their race. I don't like it. I was the one who defended that bitch. Me. I want, I, you know what, at first, right, I acknowledged what was going on, but there was a part of me that didn't want to blame everything on them because I was aware of what happened in the past. I was aware of why it happened. So what I didn't want to do was put all the blame on this family. I didn't want to do that because I know that they are not the only ones who have racialized me. I'm a black woman. I'm used to microaggressions. I'm used to microaggressions. There's something that I'm used to. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it, like for me, like as far as I was concerned, they weren't the, the only way, racist ones here. As far as I was concerned. This whole neighborhood had a go at me for less than what these people are doing. For less than that. Way less. That alone should tell you that the judgment towards me is racialized. I couldn't even scream in pain without people trying to call the police on me. And now, 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 I don't think the other neighbors are quiet. I think the other neighbors have been complaining about it. But I was the one, I was the one who said, no, let's be fair to everybody. No, fuck that. If these people want to catch the blame so heavy, let them catch it. If these people want to catch the blame, let them do that. I want these demonic things out of my life. I don't care how it happens. I don't care if they have to leave or if I have to leave. If I never see these things again, it'll be too soon. And now I have to hear them play victim. That white woman who left who had been backing these people up until th th that person said the N-word again and again. My life is fucked. Her life is fucked? Her life? My black ass life is fucked. Mine. I got no respect. I got no respect for people like that. None. It's the, it's, it's, you know, it's not the racism. It's the thing that surrounds the racism. You victimize yourself over things that you have done and things that you have said. You can't be villain and villain and victim in the same set. You're going to have to pick one. Like I said, if you're going to be a racist piece of shit, be a racist piece of shit with your chest. Not, don't, don't fucking then turn around and say, I want to agree and try to fucking justify it. Say it with your chest.
I want these people out of my life. I'm not going to say it again. But I'm done. I'm done. And again, trigger warning. Yeah, there's a lot of offensive language in this. Um, my apologies to white folk for what I just said. Um, I, I'm sorry. I honestly didn't mean to throw out slurs like, uh, you know, the, this. I don't want to do that. I'm so sorry. But I just... And to black folk too, if me saying the N-word is really triggering, I can't believe I apologise to white people. For, you see how I've been conditioned? I can't believe I'm apologising to white people first before I apologise to my own people for using the N-word again and again. When, you know, okay, fine, it doesn't traumatise me. But for some black people, for some poor black souls, the word nigger was the last thing they heard before they died. And here I am using it again black people you you are owed the most apologies for this one and you know it might not offend me like emotionally it might not hit me as hard but if it hits all of you i i, I can only apologize so much i'm so sorry i'm so sorry and i'm so sorry that you weren't the first people i apologized to you deserve better than that anyway i love you guys you take care Bye. I'm gonna listen to some more Taylor. Listen, I, I I'm not I'm not I don't I'm not the biggest fan of Taylor as a person, but if you're feeling sad and you feel like crying, it doesn't matter what the reason is, like put some of her songs on, especially the later ones. You won't regret it. Anyway, I love you. Mwah. Bye bye. Hold up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I never get these things right.